I am here with Dash Dudley, who just took down the 10K PLO Championship for over a million dollars and his first bracelet. And when you first won, you went to your rail, had a little emotional moment. Tell me about the moment of that win and celebrating it with your closest friends and family. Uh, it felt amazing. I literally have like the best rail in the whole world. I got so many good friends, so many supporters. My fiance, my mom flew out, friends from all over the country. A lot of Michigan people are here. And um, it felt really good to have all those people behind me. So I ran over the rail and uh, I wanted to sweat that last uh, few cards with them. Well, the Rio erupted in a roar of excitement and congratulations. You've been grinding it out for almost two decades now. What does it feel like to finally get that bracelet and have this huge million dollar cash? Um, a lot of words I could uh, use to describe it, but I final table twice here before and taken really bad beats and finished eighth in both of them. And you don't get final tables every year. And this is my third one in like nine or 10 years. So they, you really got to seize the moment. And today I just wanted to finish. Um, when we got heads up, I just kind of tried to pressure him and use uh, some of my PLO experience to wear them down and grind it. And that's how I got the two to one chip lead, which made me feel a lot more comfortable. And how has your cash experience helped you in this tournament, in this field? What were you doing to prepare for this final table coming into today? I felt very confident. I've, uh, in PLO tournaments, I've been short a lot in my life. And a lot of people make mistakes when you get short and you can kind of spot it and seize it and wait for it. and. That's what I kind of did. Um, I ran really short in the 25K the whole day two and got down to the bubble and couldn't really do anything and handcuffed. So I know how it feels, but you gotta be patient. And in this tournament, um, when we got to the final table, I entered as chip leader. However, I moved down to maybe the shortest stack with like four left and I, I just didn't give up. Um, I got a, like, a lot of people that really believe in me and the Omaha cash, has really helped me. Um, seen probably more hands than most of these players in Omaha. I've um, been playing the game a long time, so I see a lot of spots, and I've been in a lot of these spots before. So um, outside of tournaments, it feels good to be playing Omaha. It's, I think, the greatest game, and you know, I love four cards, and it's hard to go back to two when you play four. Um, so it, it allows for some gamble, and it allows for uh, a lot of experience to take over. So. It was great. Well, you said you noticed that people make mistakes when they're short. What sort of mistakes did you see today at the final table? Uh, people panic. They, um, it's not like no limit tournaments where there's Annie and your stack just evaporates. Um, you actually have time and you actually can find good spots. A lot of people get to 15 big blinds and just throw it in there. Um, and I'm the kind of guy that'll fight down to like four big blinds. and whatever, you gotta kill me. Uh, <laughs> and like, that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I've been fighting for years and finally got one, so it feels amazing. Well, congratulations. What sort of cash game stakes do you normally play? Um, I've, you know, I've played anywhere from $1, $2, and I got a lot of hours in $1, $2, you know, that where I, f where I found in my game. Um, I'll play a lot bigger now um, if the games are good and we uh, will play high out in LA or wherever it is and f go chase the competition down, so. All right, and uh, you're getting married I am in getting a married. few weeks. Tell me about that. Yeah, uh, it's been a long time coming. We've been dating for uh, nine years, so we're tying the knot this August, so it feels really good to close before that. Um, funny thing was, uh, I think it was months ago, she told me that I was gonna win this tournament. The 10K one? Yeah, the, wow. ten, the 10K PLO. And, uh, you know, I've already played quite a few tournaments, so I was going to have a decent schedule. And for some reason, she picked this one. And uh, I had a little bit of percentages left, so she actually got a piece and jumped on. So uh, she made it happen, but she, she believed. She bought a piece of you? Yes. <laughs> Genius. First time. Wow, lucky sweat. Very lucky sweat. We're going to have to keep her on. All right, so before the wedding, what's your poker schedule the rest of the summer? I'm um, definitely going to play the main event. I love the main event. I think it's the best term of the year with two cards. <laughs> um, but outside of that, I'm probably going to celebrate with all my friends and family now um, for a little bit. I'll be here in Vegas probably till mid-July and um, then back 
home to Michigan to get ready for the wedding. Well, congrats to you and your fiance. You Such a huge win. And stay tuned to PokerNews.com. We have all of your WSOP bracelet winners this summer.